When the baseball team left the field at the end of the 2010 season, construction began on a whole new surface. I got the inside story on the new turf recently laid down at Latham Park. Next time you cheer on the Phoenix at Latham Park, you'll notice something different. Artificial infield turf. Elon head coach Mike Kennedy was encouraged to install field turf by his peers at USA Baseball. They talked about how great it was, how much they loved it, and uh, when we got to talk about renovations and what we were going to try to do at our place, they just kept harping, uh, harping on the fact that, hey, you know what, we love ours, you ought to consider it. And the more I was with them over that summer, um, it became, you know what, that's a pretty good idea. We looked at Kansas State because they had the turf infield, the grass outfield, and we looked at Lamar University out in Houston, Texas. So those were the ideas uh, of some of the other places that we had looked at. When we played an app two years ago, I, I enjoyed the way it played, so I was looking forward to it. I had no clue we were doing it, and then over the summer, uh, somebody told me that we were getting turf. Somebody actually from my hometown was like, oh, you got turf, right? And I was like, uh, I didn't know that, but then I got on the, on the website, looked it up, and it was uh, true. It, was, it, looks, it looks great out here. So. And they basically bulldozed the whole thing and tear out all the old turf, all the old dirt. And then they brought in rock and sand for drainage underneath the turf. And they had to roll that several times just to make sure it was compacted, make sure it was firm and you didn't have soft spots. From there, uh, there was a concrete barrier put around the outside of the field so they could tack the turf down to that. The turf was sewn together and laid and then from there we put the sand-based material on top of the turf and then the chrome rubber, the black stuff. The old grass infield required more than an hour of maintenance after each game. Now, groundkeepers need only to sweep areas where players slide frequently and pick up dirt clods from around the mound. That is, until the weather heats up. I can tell you right now, when it gets hot, they're going to have to water it down to keep it cool. It was real tough, honestly, for the first couple of days for us out here practicing on it while it was still so hot. They'll have to do what they can to keep it cool because with the metal spike at the bottom of our cleats, it gets pretty hot on the feet. Heat wasn't the only adjustment the Phoenix had to make. As far as sliding goes, you slide a lot fun. We had to really work on that. We had sliding practice quite a few times. You have to slide a lot earlier, you slide past the bag, you slide past the bag, tag you out, you're out, coach is going to be mad at On the defensive side, the artificial turf has helped with fielding ground balls. In terms of play, uh, the ball stays down, you don't get bad hops, so you don't see a lot of bad hops, a lot of mistakes because the ball's bouncing everywhere. You get a ground ball, the, the bounce you get before you field it is the hops in between fielding it and throwing the first. After you play a couple innings on dirt, it gets worn down and uh, you get bad hops off those spike marks. Out here, there's no spike marks, you get good, you get good hops for your time. The balls that sometimes you don't feel like you could get to, you can start like diving a little bit sooner and allow yourself to almost kind of slide to it. I was a little nervous about it at first, you know, the hops are a lot different, but I like it a lot better than dirt. Truer surface, you get good hops, everybody's making plays, it helps you out in the throws. With it being level, being flat, you're able to go in the hole and make more plays. But the safety part of it is, is probably the biggest issue. It's a lot safer. I think it's easier on their bodies, especially our infielders. It doesn't beat you up when you slide. You don't tear your knee up. You don't tear your hip up. You don't get strawberries. You don't cut yourself up. Strawberries is like when you slide on dirt and you just rub you. It's like a red patch. You get strawberries slide on dirt, but on here it's more like sliding kind of on carpet, but without the burn. Diving for a ball, sometimes your elbows and your knees can get scraped up on dirt when it gets hard, but on turf, we don't have that problem as much. It's a lot better on your legs. You can play a double header here and uh, not really feel anything. You go on dirt, it's a lot different. But the biggest change overall? Practice time. <laughs> for the first time in my 15 years, we didn't miss a day this fall. We were able to get on our field every day. It rains, and once it stops, it takes about 30, 35 minutes, and we're able to get out and play on it. And having a field in playable condition? Even if the forecast calls for rain, it's something teams traveling from a distance appreciate too. A lot of times, especially playing in the infield, I tend to have conversations with people that reach the base on the other team. A lot of the teams wanted to get out here early and field on it because it is different and they want to get used to it, used to the way it plays. It's definitely a big adjustment for the infield to come out here and get ground balls. When on the road, the Phoenix faced their own challenge of adjusting back to a dirt infield. That first weekend we went to State and they have dirt, so it was a big adjustment. We went over to Williams High School and got some ground balls over there to try to help us out. So when we go on the road as infielders, you know, we got to get out there, like people that come here, we got to go out there and get ground balls on the normal field. We asked other programs, you know, when they did, okay, how does it affect you when you go on the road? And up to a man, each one of them said the same thing. If you really focus on taking ground balls the right way, then it won't impact you down, you know, at other places. The Phoenix have played well on all field surfaces early on and are poised for a smooth slide of the conference standings this season. 
Want to know more about Elon Athletics? Visit ElonPhoenix.com to get the scoop on all things maroon and gold. And be sure to keep up with us every week on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Elon Phoenix Weekly.